John, welcome to Mr. G's workbench. And uh, if you recall, the last time we were together, we built the cockpit of the uh, AH-1G Cobra from the ICM slash Special Hobby uh, High Tech Boxing. So, uh, you know, quick reminder of what it, the cockpit looks like. Here's, here's a quick shot of it. Uh, so today we're going to build up the fuselage, get everything uh, built up so we can get to paint. All right. I think this will be a, a really cool project. I'm, I'm feeling good about it, so I'm looking forward to finishing it up. So let's jump back in where we left off and get this bad boy built up. All right, let's take a look.
and just wanted to take a quick second out of uh, this video to tell you about three different ways you can support Mr. G's workbench and the work we do here. The first way you're doing right now, you're watching the video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and you can leave a comment as well. The next way you can support Mr. G's workbench is by becoming uh, a subscriber. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon and be notified every time I put out a new video and uh, you'll be my friend forever if you do. The final way you can support Mr. G's Workbench, if you really like what we're doing here, I hope you'll consider becoming a channel member. Uh, if you go to the homepage on YouTube for Mr. G's Workbench and hit the blue join button, it's $1.99 US per month and everything that comes in through uh, channel memberships goes towards uh, equipment and hopefully making better videos. So I hope you'll consider channel membership as well. Thank you to everyone who's already signed up. It's very much appreciated. Now back to our video. So here we are. This is uh, where we're at. I'm sorry I didn't uh, film everything. I'll show you close-ups of this uh, in a second, all right? 
Uh, we're going to leave that, that uh, transmission housing open. Uh, I had some issues with the, uh, with the canopies, uh, and it's because John doesn't read instructions properly. So the, the glass on this side for the back seat opens on the right. What I didn't give consideration to is that the front seater, his canopy opens on the left. And I had already closed it up, so I'm not going to pop it off. I'm not going to break anything. So what I did was I, I just closed up the front right half. I thought I was going to have both of these open. Uh, it doesn't work that way. My bad. So just the, the back uh, window will be opened up. The uh, door for the transmission housing will be open. And that will be that. So other than that, everything went together well. I can't recommend it enough. Even if you buy the plain ICM boxing without all the without all the photo etch and uh, and other stuff, and 3D printed stuff. Even if you don't get all of that and you just build a basic kit, I think it's it's just a really good kit. It went together really well. Uh, everything else fit nicely. The, the legs, I epoxied the legs on. I used two part epoxy. I wanna make sure they don't move. So those are epoxied in. The only place where I had any kind of gaps is uh, here on the on the turret in the front uh, I had to apply some putty on both sides the gaps were bigger than what looked acceptable so I fixed that everything else fit together well uh, I sanded the shit out of this seam along along the top here and uh, no other places did I have any issues these stub wings with where the weapons will go they fit together really well they, they slid right into place on the, on the slots provided on the fuselage. I've left off the, uh, the little wings on the back because they're going to get painted red. So no point in putting them on just to mask them off. Uh, my only other issue, I, I feel like this main, uh, the rotor hub, this pole or whatever you call it, it's, it just has a little too much bend to it. But uh, I suppose the only way to fix that would have to be use a piece of uh, brass tubing or something and then you'd have to drill holes and shit and I'm not doing that. So, you know, it's, it's together. It'll get painted. Uh, the, they give you, uh, Special Hobby gives you resin uh, rocket pods with photo etch on top. Uh, these, these weren't that bad to do as long as you... They come in two halves, so you have to saw the stubs off. If you do it slowly so that you keep it, you know, flat, then these, these come out great. I'm looking forward to putting these on. Uh, for the other uh, weapons uh, spot, I did these gun pods. So we'll have two gun pods, two rocket pods. Uh, like I said, that one, uh, the uh, transmission housing will be open. I'm really, uh, I'm happy with it. So that's where we're at. Next time we get together will be to throw some paint on it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to painting it up. I'm going to weather the crap out of the painting. And uh, I think it'll look good. So until we get together next time, I appreciate you guys stopping in. As always, uh, don't forget, if you have friends that build models, let them know about the channel, please. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Any observations, uh, positive or negative, I welcome them all. And uh, if you can, consider a membership if you're so inclined. At a minimum, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, all right? So until we get together again next time, thanks for stopping in, and I'll see you next time. Stay well.